Hey folks, welcome back to the Beer Ranch Garage. Today we're going to address a problem with the uh, rear suspension of this car that makes it undrivable. So if you haven't seen my previous videos, this is my 2004 Mustang GT and it's got a considerable amount of suspension upgrades. But recently uh, something failed in the rear here that, like I said, makes this car really unstable and undrivable. So follow me into the garage and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, folks. So we got this up. Uh, we got this old girl up on our little uh, wooden uh, chocks that I made. And one day I'll probably do a quick video on that. Nothing really uh, complicated, but these come in handy, especially if I don't feel like pulling a quick jack out. But uh, let's go underneath and show you what the issue is. All right. So uh, my neighbor's mowing his lawn, so please forgive the uh, lawnmower noise. Lawnmower noise. Anyway, um, again. I, I will make a separate video here soon to talk about this car, but uh, as you might be able to tell, it's it's got a significant amount of suspension upgrades. Um, I'm a big fan of Maximum Motorsports, so it's got the uh, Maximum Motorsports panhard bar, and then the bracket that I'll have to be installed to ensure the panhard bars there. Uh, I bought rear sway bars, go one in the front as well. Uh, what is that? Oh, God. Bilstein shocks. Uh, Maximum Motorsports uh, lower control arm. And uh, a bunch of other stuff. Uh, H&R Super Race Springs. The blue one's right there. Um, but the issue for today is when, uh, when I ran the Maximum Motorsports Panhard bar, the recommendation from Maximum Motorsports was to either run the torque arm in the torque arm springs, or if you're not going to run the torque arm, to run the uh, OEM Ford OEM Ford uh, upper control arms so that's exactly what I did I got a set of new a pair of new upper control arms from OEM Ford and the upper control arm bushings uh, that go into the differential the actual control arm comes with bushings right here on the on the other edge but the differential edge uh, the bushings there mate to the uh, well, not mate, but insert into the uh, ear and the differential. So I replaced those bushings. I got new arms that came with those bushings and set them up. And so it's been 5,000 miles. And that penhard bar that I showed you earlier stiffens up the uh, uh, the back end to the extent that most of the, uh, I guess, lateral movement is soaked up. Or a lot of the movement, excess movement, is soaked up by these control arms. And they're just not designed for that kind of stress. So this is what you get. So what you end up getting here is quite a bit of play. And I don't think that is what is supposed to happen. So at the, this point, I'm either at the, uh, at the juncture of either replacing these again and having this happen in a couple thousand miles, 5,000 miles maybe, or biting the bullet and going with the torque arm. So that's uh, that's what I'm trying to decide at the moment, and uh, we'll see what we're gonna do. For what it's worth, these bushings also are shot. The ones by the differential. See this one here is uh, torn and cracked to heck. To hell, I guess I could say hell on YouTube. Anyway, so that's what the issue is. Uh, it causes the car to be incredibly unstable at any time. Uh, uh, give it any gas, any acceleration, the you can feel the differential kind of go lateral, move laterally. Hey folks, so that should have been a big clue, the lateral movement part, but I was so focused on the upper control arms that I just didn't uh, consider that there's anything else other than what I was focusing on. And as you'll see later in the video, that actually does become an issue. Uh, separate from the chassis and um, actually it pushes the front to one direction or the other when that happens. So. Uh, very difficult to uh, drive. So at this point, uh, I haven't made the decision whether I'm just going to do the easy button and replace the control arm or just go with the torque arm. I'm trying to make that decision. And I guess by the end of this video, you'll see what I decide to do. Okay, folks. So that there is a culprit. Uh, there's two There's two contributing factors. So the main one is the upper control arm. And this is the bushing that connects the differential the axle to the uh, chassis right that inner sleeve is just come 
completely come apart. And so um, I, I think I explained earlier with the uh, components, suspension components on this car, it has most of the maximum motorsports stuff except for the uh, the traction arm, the TA, right? Uh, and so maximum motorsports recommends keeping the OEM upper control arms if you're not going to go with the TA. And at the time, I didn't go with the TA because I didn't want to weld. And I still don't really want to weld. I'm not that good. Um, and so ultimately, the solution here is to go with the TA. For the meantime, I'm either going to get a set of new arms or just replace these bushings. And then also, the second thing I was talking about, the second part, is there's bushings on the, the pumpkin itself. And um, there's two little ears on the differential. And those bushings have to be replaced. They're similar to these, but not the same. They're slightly smaller anyway those are the two uh things that had failed primarily this guy right here and as you saw earlier this thing was just flopping around with when you just touched it so uh if it's gonna not be able to withstand the arm uh, motion it's not going to be able to withstand uh the differential moving under the car anyway long term i'm going to order the the, the traction arm at the moment just going to do a uh, quick fix to get this back on so the car is at least drivable in a relatively safe way. Hey folks, so I don't want to belabor the point here, but just to go back to the bushings real quick. So these are the bushings that come off of the differential, like the little ears on the pumpkin. And then these are the ones that go in the control arm. Let's look at these ones real quick. This is a brand new one. And this is the, uh, the one that came off the car. And I know you might not be able to see it, but there is a crack in the inner um, sleeve and uh, it's not supposed to have a crack it's supposed to be a nice uh, circular smooth uh, one-piece sleeve uh, same thing with the the ones in the arms uh, i showed you this earlier but this one is absolutely uh, no this one is absolutely uh, destroyed so <laughs> This is uh this is just being on the car and uh, being subject to the the forces of the uh, control arm trying to manage a maximum motorsports pan artboard. So the idea originally was to replace the bushing in the control arm, but it's very very hard. I couldn't find the bushings. Just as cheap, uh, just as easier to get a set of uh, OEM type control arms. So <clears throat> I don't know why I keep going back to this. Just <laughs> the bushing just looks so gnarly to me. Uh, like I said, we're going with <clears throat> Moog OEM replacement uh, control arms. This is temporary solution, and this is what a fresh bushing looks like. Same exact bushing. This one just got pressed out of the uh, factory control arm. But uh, <laughs> and this is 5,000 miles, folks. So new 5,000 miles. All right. All right. So we got our uh, differential bushings in there. And then our new control arms uh, kind of disappear back here. I don't know if you're seeing it in the camera, but right up there. And right there, right side, left side. So mind you, these are again, just a temporary stopgap solution. So. We can uh, drive the car for a while until we get all our parts together to finish off the uh, Maximum Motorsports uh, system here on the back end. All right, so let's shut her down and uh, hope uh, that fixed the issue. I'm pretty sure it did, but I uh, will go for a test drive. All right, folks, so that was not the problem. The car most definitely needed upper control arms, but that was not the problem causing the unstable or the instability in the uh, rear axle on acceleration so up we go again and we got to take a look at that rear end one more time well folks it didn't take a whole lot of looking and i think i found the problem um, follow me down underneath the vehicle and I'll show you what's going on. Alright folks, so we are looking at the passenger side uh, of the vehicle, the right side. Uh, not coincidentally, that's 
our nice new control arm and bushing. Uh, anyway, the upper control arm is what that is. Uh, the problem here is the lower control arm. And let's bring you over here. Uh, as you can see, hopefully, or you should be able to see, as you can see, this bushing is way out of whack. And if you come over here, you will see how ah, this bolt is not engaged through the arm of the bushing. And uh, there is uh, no bolt going through there. And I wonder if the nut that goes to that bolt is actually, oh, there it is. So at least I don't have to get a new, uh, here it is. At least I don't have to get a new uh, nut. Um, so yeah, that's our problem. Now, I don't, I'm going to have to assume that it wasn't torqued properly. As you can see, it's kind of like in a uh, precarious or difficult to reach position. So um, maybe, maybe uh, it wasn't torqued properly and uh, it's uh, slipped out. It's hard to tell if this bushing is savable or not. Let's pull off the arm and see, but this is our problem. And if I come over to the driver's side here, not a whole lot better. I don't know if you can see there, but let's see if we can get light on there. But that uh, nut, the one that goes through the control arm here, is uh, almost out. So it's working its way off too. So we might be able to uh, get away with just tightening it down and torquing it. Um, but yes, we have an issue here. So let's uh, let's get this guy, the passenger side one down, and uh, examine to see if that bushing has any chance of uh, getting saved. Otherwise, uh, we're going to have to order bushings from Maximum Motorsports. But at least we have our problem uh, identified, and uh, you know this is a solid axle suspension so there, there isn't that many points where the uh, axle connects to the car so it's not like you know this isn't a great mystery but uh, still always good to diagnose a problem well folks um so the bushing does appear to be savable a little piece of the ear came off but like the actual uh piece like the actual internal portion of the bushing seems to be um, intact so I think what I'm going to do here is just pop it in the vise and uh, press it back where it needs to go and reinstall it and I think it should do what it needs to do So it's not the prettiest thing, but I think it's functional and I just don't want to wait around to get, uh, have the car offline to get another week or so to get replacement bushings. I'll certainly order replacement bushings, but I think we should be able to um, install this back on the car and uh, have it functional. All right, folks. So it looks like we might have, in fact, lucked out uh, to a pretty decent extent so um, we was we were able to get the bushing back in arm and everything back in and torqued Ugh. and so that doesn't look too bad and then the nut is on and torqued same thing with this side bushing looks good and that uh, nut is on and torqued so everything is uh, appropriately aligned and torqued or at least tightened remember we got our upper control arms replaced as well so uh, let's lower her down and see if this time 
the problem is fixed. <laughs>